Run it up! My family's a story of beautiful tragedy Now every day I wake up working at it gradually Life takes a turn, I'm just looking at it casually Roaming around, but this is where I'm glad to be My family's a story of beautiful tragedy Now every day I wake up working at it gradually Life takes a turn, I'm just looking at it casually Roaming around, but this is where I'm glad to be <laughs> so, um, at the time, the culture in the high school, which is really, really terrible, and we didn't realise it at the time, I don't know why, was that the older boys would have group sex with younger girls, and a lot of the time, it was pretty much non-consensual, the young girls... Getting drunk. Goods, and then say no, and kind of be pressured into doing that and so they weren't realising that it was wrong. So when we got together and we explored these things that were going on, it's a really horrible culture and we, you know, we then started workshopping that sort of stuff and... And yeah. something very powerful in Chrysalis was actually watching girls being explained to that they had been raped and not knowing and mm. they were acting out in this really horrible way like you know just infighting and going you slept with my boyfriend when it's going well, no your boyfriend raped me mm. you know finally giving women that voice of going no i didn't do anything wrong i am not a bad person i'm mm. a normal teenage girl mm. just trying to get by and mm. it's so common like it's so common in a lot of schools but our school was very very bad like we were and we would even us as girls that should be supporting and uplifting we were shaming mm. people that we should have been supporting you know someone was raped essentially and we name call them because the boys had told us to do that so we were really involved in the whole process until things started changing and we i don't know it was just power we yeah. we had our little gang <laughs> well we educated we became educated and 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 where was a i mean that was where the sexual assault um and sexual assault education came in and all the prevention work that we did and we started to really find strong bonds between the women mm -hmm. and going hang on a minute let's let's change this whole culture that that is really really unhealthy and that really sort of surgically you yeah know what i mean like the way the we decided really early on that if there's a girl at school that you hate, she comes to the group. Yeah. yeah. Like, we change that. We go, why do you hate them? Is it real? Mm. Do you hate that them? That was amazing, you know. Like, me, myself, I was really angry. A lot of stuff made me act angry. And that had a lot to do, just to put into context of your background and where you yeah. came from, which a lot of people didn't understand. Yeah. And, yeah. So it was nice for you to actually have a place where you felt like yeah, people were, make, were joining the dots. Yeah. 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 Sorry, continue what you were saying though, Em. Um, and so, like, the school was experiencing huge problems and, like, I'm going to say that I was a huge part of that problem because there was girls fighting, really strong girls that were angry. And then when we came together, it was like there wasn't all this disruption anymore. There wasn't this volatile mm. environment. Um, yeah. Gave us a purpose. Gave us a purpose. We really forced each other to own our problems and own mm. our strengths and be powerful as a group and not let men tear us down or parents or mm. anyone. We just went, no, everyone comes into this world with their own problems. Let's just deal with ours yeah. and let's be a unit. Mm. We made our own family, mm. and, which, and it's just been school after school. I've just seen these mm. families of young girls mm. going, hey, stop and think about what you're saying to that person and how it makes them feel. and this. Giving young girl, teenage girls empathy is nothing mm. short of a miracle. <laughs> yeah. I think. Like, and confidence. Confidence. Same confidence. Oh, yeah. like, I, to this day, I every single day think about Chrysalis and who I am as a person and now a business owner and with a healthy, loving relationship and mm. home and amazing relationship with my mum that I never thought I would have. Mm. Yes, the understanding <laughs> that I just have of her as a woman mm. instead of... Mm. 
you're supposed to be my mom, you're supposed to be like this. Now I can go, oh, wow, okay. You, we're all going through mm. the same stuff. Mm. Like, and yeah, it's just powerful. And now I am a mom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a really good one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, what was I going to ask you? Forgotten. Sorry. Um, 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 oh, just that you guys are still a part of like Chrysalis. Like once you're sort of involved in Chrysalis, you're always involved in yeah. Chrysalis. So. It's a real sisterhood. Like it's something that... Because there's over a thousand girls in Chrysalis mm -hmm. now. Yeah. yeah, I really look forward to when you ask me to be involved in something, whether it be um, some fundraising or the graduation. I look forward to that and getting mm. to know the girls a little bit. Yeah. You know, um, we're still on the group forum online mm. and everything. We've got a good social media, healthy, healthy social media. Um, yeah, whole whole platform that we use and yeah. And like there's a system in Chrysalis um, where you do the little line and then chocolate. Yeah. And if you post the line and chocolate, you message the person to make sure they're okay and be the, like, there's so many safeguards mm. to make sure the girls are supported and like, you know. By each other. The, yeah. The cornerstone of Chrysalis that I think is missed by a lot of support groups and counselling is that uh, Amy has always been very clear about her duty of care and what has to happen if a story is told in a certain way. So it's being really empowering to say, no names unless you want something to happen. Mm. If you don't want something to happen, we're still here to support you. You don't mm. have to report. You don't have to do all these things. Mm. Just don't say the name. Get it all out. We're here to talk about it. Mm. And lots of disclosures have now happened to where um, the girls are aware that they might have sexual abuse disclosure that they're working towards, but yeah. through Chrysalis they might spend six months building up their self-esteem, building up the foundation that they need to actually make those disclosures. Mm -hmm. And now we've got really good um, steps in place and policies in place yeah. so that those girls are protected and supported through the whole process and that they understand it in a way that they don't feel disempowered That's and come out the other side where they're not carrying that baggage anymore and that for me is just ah oh. for someone already damaged to tell someone they trust and then it all blows up the parents are told the, mm. it just what a you know a really horrific thing that i saw happen a lot before chrysalis a lot mm. of girls moving schools mm. going well i just didn't want all any of this to happen mm. i just needed some, a shoulder to cry on and now my life's ruined my so it is, yeah. Yeah. Well, you don't. A lot of girls aren't educated around how perhaps a parent's going to respond to them being raped, exactly. for instance. Yeah. And yeah, so there's a lot, a lot of yeah. information that's that's there, and a lot more. I, I think too, as the whole Me Too movement's coming in, yeah. there's a lot more um, interest in trying to educate people on how to deal with disclosures and feeling more confident about coming forward, which is fantastic. And being able to support people who are doing that. So that's the other part. I couldn't believe the Me Too movement. I was going, oh my God, the whole world has chrysalis now. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Look at all these women. And now men are believing it. It's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, so, so any oh, yeah. any any final words that you'd like how how you would like I, to see things go or or I'd honestly like Chrysalis to get to the point where when Emily's daughter's in school we yeah. don't need. Well, do you know what my mm. my niece went through Chrysalis? Mm. I did her graduation. Yeah, Hi. yeah. yeah. Like, oh. What was it, two years ago? Yep. I did her graduation and I gave her the blanket and wrapped her in a hug. You yeah. know, the wrapped with hug. Blanket. Yes! It was yeah. the best. That's great. I love it. And yeah, she's more confident now. Yeah. Yeah, massively. So yeah, what it, where I'd like to see Chrysalis, like I already said to you earlier, I'd love to see you um, expand a little bit out of the Shire. Mm. And, I know that it's hard, but I'd love to just... I think it's just a time thing, and I, I think in time it'll happen. My, my dream is always... that I always had this dream before I sort of started Chrysalis because I travelled out west into um, remote Aboriginal communities and stuff like that in Central Australia where I was like, imagine if I could bring Chrysalis to, 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 to women out here, to young women where we could be you know, incorporating culture and stuff. Like, this is the sort of stuff that I would love to do. And they say, like, in third world countries... That educating women is the cornerstone of any successful society yep. and when you educate them to support each other no matter what mm. going we might not have the same views or opinions 
but I love you and I'm here for you and I'm here to make sure you shine in a healthy, respectful way. And it's not, you know, feminist men bashing and it's literally young women right. eating lollies going, I'm a bit sad. How are you guys? Doing? <laughs> There's a bit more to it than <laughs> It's a, yeah. it's a gentle, loving, safe, honest space yeah. that is just so valuable to any community, mm. especially teenage girls. Do you know what? I want to be involved. I'm just about to finish my diploma of mm. counselling, and I like I really genuinely want to be involved in it more. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I know. I've got my eye on you. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my eye on quite. There's, there's a number of young women who are doing counselling and psychology and all sorts of stuff who are who are going. I'm sniffing around and this is what I've always wanted. Like I don't like I don't want to be passing it on to some person who doesn't understand no. what it means. I want to pass it on to the people that actually came Passing through. Just yeah. Like you. Yeah. Just yeah, cuz you yeah. just came, you went through our school and yep. came back to fix We all it. sat down yeah. together and came <laughs> up like with a war the zone. Idea. Yeah. <laughs> the three women right here that sat down and came up with the idea. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine? Like, I honestly, to be honest, when we were like, let's get Chrysalis started, I was like, yeah, this sounds really cool, but I was so disheartened by everything I'd ever seen, mm. you know? Yeah. And it's just been. I've fallen through the cracks, you know, the, the, the gaps of the system and counselling and stuff that many times. Yeah, me too. And, you know, this, is, this was the first thing that's ever stayed with me. Mm. You know, counsellors, they leave, you know, mm. change after, you know, I, I'm going to be a counsellor, so. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was, I, was like Amy one day. I was like, I'm not religious, but the only thing I hold sacred is chrysalis. Yeah. If a young chrysalis girl comes up to me and says, I need a hand, uh, yes. Yeah. Get in my car. Let's go for a drive. Let's have a car. Yeah. Let's, of course, I'm here for you. You know, anything. Yeah. And that's that's the culture that's been created and that 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 rule that we acknowledge each other no matter what yeah. who you are all of those rules that the, that you girls set up yeah. those rules when we With go the through them paper, yeah doing, well yeah. those rules are still being used today and yeah. the girls love those rules because yeah. they were made by other girls and yeah. they work That's they're it. really practical yeah. and they're really honest and and yeah they're, they're awesome yeah and okay. the rules High five. Yeah. <laughs> okay <laughs> That's it, girl.